Are you sick of your golden retriever jumping on you? When a tiny puppy jumps on you, it's kind of cute because they're tiny and sweet. But when a big puppy jumps on you, it's not so cute and it actually could be dangerous. So how do you stop them from jumping? In this video, I'm going to show you how to stop your golden retriever from jumping on people step by step. My golden Oliver was a really bad jumper as a puppy. And these are the exact same steps that I use with him to get him to finally stop jumping on people. All right, what's up, Golden Lovers? I'm Jake, and welcome to Golden Heart, where we cover all things Golden Retrievers. Today, we're going to talk about why Golden Retrievers jump, how to get them to stop jumping, and the common mistakes that people make that keep their Golden Retrievers from learning that it's not okay to jump. Let's start with why Golden Retrievers jump. They jump because they love people. They want to greet us and interact with us and meet us face to face. We communicate with our eyes and mouths, plus there are a lot of smells up here, so it makes sense that Golden Retrievers would want to engage with our faces. However, the problem is that we stand so much taller than them, so if they want to engage us face to face, they need to jump up on us. Other reasons that golden retrievers jump is that they have pent up energy, maybe you accidentally encourage them to jump, and maybe other people accidentally are encouraging them to jump. Now before we keep going, here's a quick reminder to subscribe and hit the bell to keep up with the best golden retriever videos on YouTube. Alright, so many people think that golden retrievers jump to be dominant, but it's actually not true. It's not them being aggressive or dominant, it's actually them being excited and enthusiastic to see us. It's sweet, but it's still a problem, so let's talk about how to solve it. Before you do anything else, make sure to do this. Stop rewarding your golden retriever for jumping. Rewarding them in this case could include petting them, speaking to them, or even making eye contact with them. They want your attention, so when they jump up and you give it to them, you're actually rewarding them for jumping. Whether they are a rowdy teenager or a young puppy, make sure that whenever you greet them, all four paws are on the floor. However, there's a lot more to it, so let's get into the steps. Step zero. Yes, this is a pre-step before step one. Teach your dog to sit and stay. Here's a spoiler alert. To get your dog to stop jumping up on people, one of the best ways is to ask them to do something that you do want them to do. In this case, it would be to ask them to sit and stay. So before you can start working on polite greetings and getting them to stop jumping, make sure that they know how to sit and stay. Now, step one, regularly exercise your dog. One of the big reasons that dogs jump on people is that they have so much energy and they're so excited when they see you that they can't contain it all. So before training or teaching them how to greet people, make sure to get some of that energy out. You can do this by playing fetch, playing tug, or giving them a frozen Kong, which is great for mentally wearing them out. Remember, a tired dog is a good dog, and in this case, a tired dog won't be bursting at the seams with energy when they greet you. You can learn more about using toys to tire your puppy out in the video up here. Step two, teach them what you want them to do. Telling your dog, puppy, please don't jump on me, is not really gonna make sense to them. Instead, you need to show them with your actions and with your words what you want them to do instead. The most straightforward way of doing that is to ask them to sit. The best time to correct an unwanted behavior is right before it happens. So if you see that your puppy is going to come up and is about to jump on you, instead ask them for a sit and praise the heck out of them when they do and give them treats. If every time you walk in the door, you ask your puppy to sit, and then when they sit, they get what they want, pretty soon they're going to learn whenever you walk in the door, it's best for them to sit. You can also show them what you want by ignoring the bad behavior or the unwanted behavior and then rewarding the good behavior. For instance, if you walk in the door and they're jumping all over you, you ignore them. But eventually they'll get tired and they'll sit down. And as soon as they sit down, you praise them and let them know they did a great job. However, with this strategy, you gotta be careful. When you reach down, they might jump up again. So it might take a few tries for them to actually sit and have all four paws on the floor for you to be able to reach down and reward them. Another strategy to help with this is to put a baby gate or an exercise pin right in front of the door so that as soon as you walk in, your puppy can't get to you and jump all over you. With the barrier between you two, you can wait until they've settled down and stop jumping to give them attention. This might make it easier for you if you often walk in the door with hands full of groceries or hands full of bags, or if your puppy has really sharp nails that get you when they jump on you. Now before we get to step number three, I just want to ask, is this making sense to you? If it is, type no more jumping in the comments below. Now, on to step number three, practice polite greetings. Once you've taught your puppy what you want them to do, now it's time to practice it. You should set aside some time to practice where you walk in and out of the door and your puppy learns how to greet you correctly. You can also turn every time you walk into the door into a mini training session where you're practicing sitting and not jumping on you. Now a huge part of how quickly your puppy will learn to not jump on you is how consistent you are. For example, if you sometimes reward them for jumping on you, then they will sometimes, if not all the time, still jump on you. 
Another way to practice polite greetings is to bring a friend over and practice with them. Now, this brings us to the next point, jumping up on friends and family. It's one thing to teach your puppy to not jump on you, but it's another thing and potentially a more difficult thing to teach them to not jump on other people. For one, they see you all the time, so seeing you again might not really excite them as much as seeing a new person. But two, other people might not always stick to the rule of not rewarding a puppy when they jump on them. For instance, my in-laws absolutely love Oliver. When they would come over, he would jump on them and they would just eat it up. They would give him attention, they would give him pets, they would call him sweet names. They loved it and he loved it. Now, I'm not pointing any fingers, but Oliver jumped for a long time. I'm kidding though, because actually it was my fault that he jumped on them. Here's why. When you're teaching your puppy to not jump on people, you need to control the environment. And oftentimes, the best way to do that is with a leash. This way, even if you have loving doggy grandparents, you can hold them back and prevent them from jumping on people and prevent them from being rewarded for jumping on people. So here's how to teach your puppy how to greet other people. Have them on a leash and then ask your puppy to sit a few feet away from the people. Then invite them to come greet your puppy, but tell them that they can only pet them if all four paws are on the floor. If your puppy breaks the sit before they can be pet, then you need to try again. It's okay if it takes a few tries, and it's actually expected to take a few tries, but it's really important that your friends and your family don't reward your puppy for jumping. Eventually, your puppy will get it right, and they will have all four paws on the floor, and your friends and family will appreciate being a part of this process. So let's talk about the biggest mistake when it comes to teaching your puppy to quit jumping. You probably guessed it, it's to not reward your puppy for jumping. Whether that reward is a pet or even just eye contact, and whether it comes from you or your neighbor claiming that they love it when puppies jump on them, it's still setting your training back every time it happens. Make sure to always respond appropriately when training your puppy and make sure to control the environment with a leash when they're meeting other people. Do you have any questions about getting your puppy to stop jumping on people? If you do, let me know in the comments below. And if this video was helpful, please give it a like so more people can see it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to keep up with the best gold retriever videos on YouTube. Now, one thing I mentioned was using toys like frozen Kongs to tire your puppy out. Using toys the right way can be incredibly helpful to help your gold retriever stop unwanted behaviors. So check out this video about the five best toys to get for your gold retriever and how to use them for training. All right, guys, I'm out. Thank you for watching. And remember, never take your gold retriever for granted and always check your poop bags for holes.